mom so fed up with the Common Core curriculum, she went before her school board to ask them a simple math question. Watch this. Mr. Yamada's class has 18 students. If the class counts a round by a number and ends with, nine, with 90, what number did they count by? Does anyone on the board have an answer? Five. This, however, is what the Common Core standards expect our fourth graders to do. If they saw that in those two steps they get it marked wrong, they are expected to draw 18 circles with 90 hash marks, solving this problem in exactly 108 steps. 108 steps. Well, Karen Lamro has made it her mission to take on Common Core. She joins us now from Little Rock. Karen, thanks a lot for joining us. 108 steps. Who comes up with this? And that's a sincere question. Who comes up with the Common Core uh, questions? Uh, D.C. <laughs> D.C., Education Department. Uh, the standards were developed by Achieve Inc., uh, a D.C. trade group. Huh, interesting. And so you've gone through, you're one of those people who had concerns about Common Core and then actually looked into it in granular detail. Tell us some of the things you found. We found a lot of things, and it's not just myself. There are coalitions all over the country uh, led by parents and educators that are researching this and starting to ask a lot of questions. Uh, not only are the standards not what they're telling us they are, as far as being rigorous, college ready, preparing our children for a global economy, but there are some things in the testing agreements that are raising a great deal of concern as well. So what, do you, what do you mean? What's in the testing agreements that, that bothers you? Well, there's a lot of data mining here. Uh, the states are setting up uh, new databases that will link up to a national database, and they're looking to collect 400 data elements on our children. Uh, it's based on a P20 model, meaning they want to track the kids from pre-K all the way through age 20. Through age 20? Yes. <laughs> it's wow. a little over the top. Uh, they want to keep track of their after-school activities. They want to know our voting status. Well, that's horrifying. So I know a lot of our viewers are parents, and a lot of them have real concerns about Common Core and, and some questions, too. What can they do to find out more and to get involved? Is there any recourse for citizens against the education bureaucracy trying to push this on them? Absolutely. Every state that's been impacted has a coalition set up. We have our own web pages uh, and Facebook and so social media sites. So, for instance, for parents in the state of Arkansas, in my home state, they can look at Arkansas Against Common Core.com, and we also have a Facebook page. There's also some national coalitions. Yes. Uh, one is called Stop Common Core. And the other one is called Truth in American Education. Truth in American Education, Stop Common Core. Karen, thanks for joining us this morning. It's Thank you. It's remarkable information. Track until the age of 20. I appreciate it. Coming up, has your child ever acted like this?